the guitar. Old as mankind, new as tomorrow, the distinctive sound of a fine guitar strikes a satisfying note in our lives. ability to echo an orchestra of sounds. That's why, surely as music itself, the guitar belongs to all of us. In a way no other instrument can match, the guitar is an instrument of the people. history, the guitar has assumed many styles, shapes, and forms, as it became the companion of troubadours, minstrels, folk singers, country and western artists, classical soloists, and rock and roll groups. distinctive sound of a guitar begin. If it is a Gibson, it is recognized as the finest by musicians. And the sound of Gibson guitars begins here, with the finest of woods, slowly aged like vintage wine. Only a fraction of the world's finest wood is good enough. Sitka spruce from the Pacific Northwest, Michigan maple, mahogany from Central and South America, ebony from Malagasy Republic and Ceylon, and rosewood from Brazil are carefully selected and matched for grain and texture. Once the materials have been selected, skilled hands and the most modern machinery combine to give rough shape to a solid body electric guitar, one of the nearly 200 different standard models Gibson offers. The finest acoustic and jazz electric guitars have carved tops. From a solid one inch thick block of seasoned spruce, a delicately curved top is rough carved, then hand graduated to thicknesses within thousands of an inch tolerance. The graceful lines of the guitar's arched back are formed to the exact shape necessary to project the most beautiful tone by pressing a sandwich made up of thin sheets of closed-grained wood under carefully controlled heat and pressure. The F-shaped sound hole was a contribution Gibson made to the world of guitars back in the early 1920s. Rims are laminated and formed to exacting specifications in a press which reproduces the complicated guitar shape. Each shaped rim forms both halves of a single guitar. By first trimming the edges and then sawing the rim in half, the two pieces are not only identical in shape, but the beauty of the finished guitar is enhanced because the grain will match exactly. There are five major types of guitars. Each type requires specialized parts, some models requiring as many as 250 pieces. 
and each piece must pass the critical inspection of a highly trained craftsman whose interest in guitars extends beyond their manufacture. In fact, the Gibson employees are musicians. Once the guitar neck has been roughly shaped, a unique machine carves the neck to a predetermined size and contour for comfortable, easy left-hand fingering. Some models require hand-shaped necks, but in either case, the integrity of workmanship and the love of fine instruments demand that every craftsman be his own inspector, even though each piece destined to go into a fine guitar must pass many separate inspection stations on its way to completion. So much of the thrilling sound built into a fine guitar depends upon such meticulous attention to detail. The truss rod, another Gibson innovation, keeps the neck of the guitar perfectly straight. A fine guitar appeals not only to the ear, its beauty is expressed to the eye as well. Every detail of the instrument is carefully designed to enhance its visual beauty. beauty is more than decorative. The glistening mother of pearl inserted into the fingerboard proves the point. Aside from its distinctive note of decoration, the inlay serves as a position marker useful to the musician in distinguishing the various frets. 80% of the work which goes into making a guitar is done by hand. There are over 1,500 steps in its construction. Each fret is firmly fitted to the fingerboard, which has already been scientifically slotted in the exact position needed to reproduce an exact and accurate chromatic scale for each string. Starting with the highest quality materials, the distinctive guitar sound begins with the expert skill devoted to the making of every part. From first to last, each must be perfect to generate the unique sound only a fine guitar can offer. have been made, they must be assembled with a skill equal to that which went into their manufacture. Yet even during the assembly, the instrument shape is still being formed. carefully calculated size and shape are precisely positioned to produce the accepted tone quality expected from a particular style of guitar. The left and right sides of the guitar, cut from a single piece, are joined in a machine which literally welds the wood together. the craftsmen make a better guitar, many operations like this one defy modernization. The binding for a guitar is applied today as it has been for more than a century. In contrast, an ultraviolet light allows this worker to see the most minute particles of excess glue. Once the neck and body have been joined, Extreme care is taken to ensure a predetermined bridge height and string action, perhaps the single most critical factor in making the instrument easy to play. Final sanding, sanding, and more sanding ensures a smooth, clean, blemish-free surface needed to take full advantage of the lustrous finish. Until this moment, 
Each unfinished guitar has no identity of its own. Now it becomes a guitar. It has passed all the tests and deserves its own individual mark. Some are filled to smooth all surfaces, followed by individual coats of sealer. Then dried in an overhead oven between each coat. models, the well-known sunburst effect is applied by a master sprayer. Then covering trim and fingerboard inlays are scraped to remove the protective coating and stain. Each guitar then receives finely sprayed coats of clear lacquer. Again, the guitar is machine sanded. Then hand sanded to remove any minute blemishes. Finally, the guitar is given one last thin coat of lacquer. Again, oven dried. Then buffed to a mirror deep finish. Years of research perfected this master finish. Seven one thousandths of an inch thick Within it lies the secret of a more brilliant tone, greater wear, permanent luster, and sparkling beauty. Nearing completion, the final components are installed. Finally, after 60 to 90 days of work, the guitar is ready to be strung. Then, final meticulous adjustments. Listen. The vibrations that eventually become the tone you hear are set in motion by striking the strings. Sure hands with nimble fingers use carefully gauged, pre-tested and inspected wire to individually make each string. Gibson provides a variety of handmade strings, which offers the musician a wide choice no matter what style of guitar he plays. Performers grow to know the soul of their instrument and demand very individualized custom craftsmanship. In the Gibson Custom Shop, the individual requirements of the musician find expression. Working almost entirely by hand, these artisans give personalized service to musicians throughout the world.
all the guitar sounds, the most familiar today is the amplified sound of an electric guitar. Just as with the instrument itself, the electrical components which amplify it are constructed with a pride that demands precision and dedication. Every component and circuit is inspected with the same care that went into the making of the guitar. Each amplifier unit is as carefully adjusted as the instrument itself so that it will accurately reproduce the distinctive guitar sound. But modern as the electric guitar sound is, Engineers have new ideas continually under development. Sometimes the ideas involve new amplification equipment. Sometimes they consist of finding new ways to test the sound of a guitar. Every model of electric guitar requires a pickup coil designed specifically to take advantage of its sound characteristics. After each coil has been precisely assembled, it must be carefully attached to its particular model of guitar. When strings, pickups, amplifiers, and guitars come together in exact combination, the result is a sound as modern as tomorrow. The orchestra of sounds, which is the guitar, does not just happen. It requires skill, craftsmanship, time-tested design and quality materials, all brought together with a dedication toward producing only the finest guitars that have ever been made, now or at any time. That is the heritage Gibson is proud to add to that most ancient musical heritage of all, which has made the guitar the instrument of the people.